Hi, this is Janet Carlson and Val Swan with the Center for Creative Leadership. And we just attended an awesome workshop with Girls Driving for a Difference. So ladies, could you please introduce yourselves and tell us who you are? So we're Girls Driving for a Difference. My name's Rachel. I'm Jenna. I'm Katie. And we're a mobile design studio, actually an RV. And we are driving around the country right now um, in that vehicle and teaching middle school girls design thinking and leadership workshops to empower them to create social change. Awesome. All right. So what are some highlights that you guys have had from this journey? I think one of the unexpected highlights for me has been that this journey has been so much about the relationships we've formed along the way. Uh, we've been staying in a lot of RV, RV parks, but we've also received so much hospitality from people in all different states and getting to learn about them and their families and talking to their middle school girls and all these amazing communities across the country who are really doing great work with this and starting to form relationships both with them, with the girls and with one another. I think it's just at every stage was such a highlight. Really great. So what about some things that surprised you? There are a lot of surprises. <laughs> um, I think just living in an RV is a very dis different experience compared to what we're used to, like our dorm life at Stanford. Um, so coming in with expectations was actually very difficult because what can you expect with this kind of thing? Um, so one thing that really surprised me was how much we really live day by day and something that I have been very used to was this routine. We get up in the morning, we are in a stationary place, and we are um, going through our day. We have downtime, we have work time, but it's really interesting because work and our life balance, um, what is that in the RV? And um, it's a really beautiful thing to actually be in New York one day, be in Winston-Salem one day, um, be one day just on the road completely. Maybe we're having three workshops in one day. Um, it's been a really interesting experience to adapt to that. Yeah. yeah, so great. And so you guys have now directly touched over a thousand lives of young people and young women this summer alone. So knowing that, what's something that you would go back and tell your 15-year-old self? Yeah, I think if there's one thing that I could tell my 15-year-old self, it would really be um, just to find out what you're passionate about, whatever that is, uh, doesn't matter what other people think of it, what your parents are telling you, what your friends are telling you, what your school teachers are telling you. If you're passionate about it, that's really all that matters, run with it, see where it leads. If it leads to a new club on campus or just a, a side project you're working on and just this uh, bubbling passion to kind of make that happen, that's great. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure, especially um, as a 15 year old and as a middle schooler, really just growing up as a young girl um, to kind of know exactly what you want and carve that career path early on and then just follow it. And I think that while that method can work, there's a much more like creative and meaningful way to explore that path to kind of figuring out who you are, uh, where you feel most empowered and what makes you happiest. Um, I think our team has really found that staying true to what our passion is and following that passion rather than a prescribed guide to success has really been um, the most important part of our journey. So I would definitely tell my 15 year old self, hey, whatever you love, really just run with it. It's so true. We, we find that too. And I know that you guys want to just talk a little bit about next steps, immediate next steps after you end this whirlwind tour. Yeah, so we're really trying to help figure out what's next uh, in the long term. I know one short term thing we're really trying to make happen is to be able to share our workshop at South by Southwest EDU. So right now we have a proposal out on what they call Panel Picker, which is how they kind of crowdsource who speaks at South by Southwest. And we would love to be able to share this curriculum with educators from all around the world there in Austin, Texas. Uh, so anyone who's out there, it would be sweet to have them help vote for us so we can make it.